Hi guys, it's Olivia, and sorry, my room is a mess. That's just a dance costume, and those I've had since I was six. So sorry about that. And um, yeah, sorry. So today there's a tutorial on some simple, easy hairstyles to do for. It'll be good for just in the morning before school or any time in the summer. Now, let me take this stuff out. That's just my normal hairstyle, so take this stuff out. And so, what we're gonna do is if you have bangs like I do, you're, you could take them back and like put your hair, put your hair up. It, so you can put your hair up and if you have bangs like I do, put them or just, if you have bangs, then it's not gonna work. If you have side bangs like I do, then it will work. You're going to put your hair up, and then you're going to have the bangs off to the side, just like plain old messy. And so what you could do is you could take like sort of like a hair clip or something. I'm wearing blue today, so I'm wearing blue. Or something else. Like, um, so you could use like some hair clips. I'm wearing blue today, so I was wearing this one. You could use this one. would be good for any outfit. And these are good for any outfit. Or if you're wearing pink, you could use a pink little hair tie, hair thing, whatever. So you're going to take your uh, bangs and you're going to, like, take them back. You don't need any, this doesn't require any bobby pins. And then you're going to put the flower in just to the side, off to like that. And then if you have, you can buy this at Claire's, along with all of these. I actually just went shopping, so... Uh, not just today, like a week ago. And if you have one of these, which you can buy at Claire's or pretty much any cute little hair store, you can paint in the back of your hair, and I'm going to show you how I do that. I take my hair, and I pin this through the back. And then I just kind of put it in the back right there. So it's like cute little jazzy hairstyle. And that's only hairstyle one. Now I have frizzy hair, so when I take my hair down, it's going to look very messy. The second one is the braided bun, which I actually can't show you because my hair is not cooperating today. I've been trying to do it all day, but it's not working. And, of course, my hair is in a knot. Sorry about this. Shiz. Alright, so when you have your hair down, what you can do is, oh, I still have that thing out. When you have your hair down, like, this is as frizzy as it goes, but, probably not, but when you have your hair down, you can take any section of your hair, which I like to do this section, and this is the, called the snake braid. What you're going to do is, I like to take this section of my hair, and you're just going to braid it, which I'm going to try and do very quickly. It has to be done neat, and if you're in a rush, fast, like I am. Shiz. Okay, so you're kind of going to pin the rest of your hair back with something. I use a hair tie. So what you're going to do is you're going to that was naughty. You're going to braid this, whatever part of your hair. It has to be in the front of your hair or like the middle section of the side. Otherwise, you really won't be able to see it and it's, it looks really pretty at the end. Um, now I'm sort of a girly girl, so I know all these designs. Now you're just going to start to braid it, which I have to redo up here. Alright, so we're going to braid this all and then at the end, you have to do it all the way to the end or else it's not going to work. All the way to the end of your hair. So let's go ahead and do that. Now if you have highlights, some of these ideas, 
that I had will look very pretty on you. Now, if you have highlights like I do, then you'll look really pretty in these. So at the end of my hair, I'm going to separate these two. Like, I have the two strands over here and one strand over here. I'm going to hold them both up here. And then I'm going to take the hand with two strands in it. I'm sort of going to pull it at the end. And then I'm going to take the end of the braid and push it all the way up to the, uh, the top of my braid. And then I'm just going to kind of pull it down a little bit. And now it will sort of look like a wrapped around braid. If you want, you could do it again at the end so it looks even prettier because sometimes it doesn't go all the way to the end. Sometimes it just goes like halfway. So I like to do it again so it looks really pretty. See, I think it looks kind of cute, and then what you can do is you can kind of take it back and pin a bobby pin and put, like, a cute little hair accessory in. Mm, I can't get this. Put, like, a little hair accessory in it or something. My hair's a mess today, so these aren't looking so well. Second idea, well... The other idea, the third idea, is just off to the side with a hair accessory. Or what you can what you can do is you can braid it and put it off to the side. Or you can do it this on both sides and what you're going to do is you're going to take your hair out and you are going to take two sections of your of your hair on each side. And it should be kind of even. So I'm just going to pin these together so I know what section is there and blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Um, Okay, let me just put this up. Okay, so you're going to take the two sections of your hair and you're going to braid them. So let's do that again. I'm going to start over here and your two sections of your hair should be pretty even. And all of these designs do work on straight, any kind of hair, straight hair, Frizzy hair, flexible hair, any type of hair. And I think it looks really pretty on anybody. Oh, I hear my dog. So you're going to braid them. And what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of put them back. And then it will have like a braid in it on both sides. And then you're going to do that. And then you could put like a bow or something in the back. Well, that was really all I have, so thanks for watching.